Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda. In four days video, I'm here to talk about a film that number one has just arrived on Netflix um, Philippines recently and number two, as soon as it did, I went ahead and watched it because Nagasawa Masami is headlining it and I'm just a huge fan of her. So I've been loving her past uh, films and dramas and just seeing her name there, especially in a very promising synopsis, immediately made me want to watch it. And then number three, one of my Japanese students actually recommended this film to me. So I figured that, you know, it has to be something that's really good. And so I went and watched it and I was just, it was such a wrong move to like watch it nearing midnight up until like wee hours of the early morning because this is a film that is emotionally and mentally taxing and will be talking about a lot of like sensitive issues in this as well. So just putting it out there. The film that I'm talking about is Mother, which again stars Nagasawa Masami. And then two other, um, so for the other um, co-starring role, we have two young actors. One is Gu Gunji Sho and the other one is Okodaira Daiken. So they um, respectively played the role of Shuhei which is um, the son of Nagasawa Masami's character, Akiko, who transitioned from being a boy to a teenager in the film. So, yeah. <laughs> dive deep into the plot again i just want to say that this is a movie that has a very very sensitive themes in it um and i don't know like as much as it is a very interesting um uh, very provoking film i would say like you still have to watch it with caution um so yeah basically the plot revolves around the relationship between akiko and her child shuhei who like akiko is the type who doesn't have a permanent job or didn't really have a job and then she sort of like just hooks up with a lot of people um sleeps around and just bothers her family for money um and ever since like she she usually uses shuhei um, just just so she can get money off of her like parents or her sister or even the father of Shuhei himself. Now the father of Shuhei um, actually wanted to to take him, but Shuhei, you know, he decided against it even at a young age because there's this certain relationship between him and his mother that's very codependent and. The thing with this is even as a young kid, he sort of like had to look after her. Even like, for example, um, she leaves him for days because she runs off with some guy. And then suddenly he gets a call from her saying that, you know, um, he should send him money because the relatives and even the father of Shu himself, you know, sends, um, sends the money. And so all of that money goes down the drain because of Akiko's various activities. So even as a young kid, um, Shuhei was the one who was really looking after his mother. And then after that, you know, she gets into this relationship with a host, Ryo, who eventually gets her pregnant. And so um, there comes, again, another addition to their family, um, where Shuhei has to balance things out between you know taking care of his mom and taking care of his younger sister and just navigating through like different stages of of his life in that particular way there was one point in the movie where um takahashi aya played by kaho who i absolutely adore as well because she's a very versatile actress um it's quite normal for her to be seen in these types of films where you know the storytelling is quite linear but at the same time there's some sort of like grit to it so um one of my favorite films where kaho um appeared was pink and gray which also which i also made um a review of previously but anyways like seeing her in this role um I, I just got pretty excited as well um and her role was a social worker um takahashi aya who who finds um, the family one day and she decides to take them into the sort of like institution that takes in, you know, strays um, and puts them in, you know, like the, the children puts them in education and sort of like assists um, parents to get jobs and anything like that. But again, we still see here that um, 
that Akiko, you know, she sort of like pretends to leave the facility to look for jobs just so because it's required um, by the institution, but she doesn't really like it's like it's not really something that she she she's she's actively wanting to do it's really more of like pretending just so the assistance wouldn't stop and then she usually like again uses shuhei to to either like steal or do something to her favor um and she's also very possessive of her children in a way that you know she she usually doesn't want Aya talking to um, talking to Shuhei or anything like that or giving them books or anything like that. So she doesn't want that. And she just, you know, this there's just this thing of, of no matter what situation they're put in and no matter what the circumstances are, even if things are finally looking up for them because Shuhei is finally getting some sort of education or anything like that, it's usually... It, it usually just leads to something else or them leaving um, because Akiko sort of like there's just a, a, a directionless manner in, in the situation that leads them to always like move out or something like that or anything and um, the main twist or not really because it's part of the synopsis of, of the film like when you look it up is that um, one day, because they don't have money, they don't have anywhere to stay in anymore, and because even back when Shuei was younger, um, Akiko was already estranged with her family, because of her constant habits of you know asking them for money or using Shuei to get money from them and not really changing um, the way that she lives, um, they become es es uh, estranged from her family. But then one day, she, s she suggests to Shuhei that, you know, for us to get money, um, you should... You, you know what, you should kill your grandparents. And then they visit, um, they, they visit, uh, Shuhei visits his grandparents and eventually, you know, does the thing. So what's, what's very interesting about this entire narrative is um, before we dive deep into, you know, my actual like review on the technical stuff is that it puts into question like what exactly is a mother very fitting for the title because um again like it's quite in her own twisted way i guess like the way that akiko treats her children is like how she thinks is the proper kind of love should be like like it's not really love in a way that you know she, she usually gaslights um, her children, especially Shuhei, she uses them for whatever it is that she needs, um, the situ whatever the situation that she wants to, like, calls for. Um, so definitely, like, if you look at it from an outsider perspective, like, that's not love. But from her char uh, character's perspective, that is in her own twisted way, um, the way that, you know, she loves her children because she gave birth to them and therefore she's she owns them and that's her perception of whatever it is that's been happening and um on the flip side even in the conclusion of the film so um both of them get sentenced like um shuhei took all the blame for the crime and so he got 12 years and then his mother only got probation and his younger sister was put into um, a foster system and even then, you know, Shuhei says that, you know, so what should I do? Like, everything in my life is wrong anyway. So is it even wrong for me to love my mother? And that line, I guess, was just, like, fascinating because it puts the entire film into perspective that it's not just, you know, Shuhei has been protecting his mom. And in a way, like, they've, they've had a confrontation early on in the film where he sort of, like, questioned what it is exactly, why is it exactly that he, she, like, she couldn't um, stay still for once and allow them to have, like, a normal life, um, even when circumstances already presented to them. Um, but in the end, you know, he still follows her and he still wants to be with her. Um, even if, you know, he has a lot of chances where he can stay or he can stay or live his own life and I don't know, so all of these things and it boils down to the idea that, you know, it's, it's this kind of like toxic love between parent and child and you sort of like wonder, um, like, so... 
like how like for example there is there is a there is a level of like a thin line between a, an over controlling or an overbearing parent wanting the best for their children in the best possible way and then there's also this where even if everything goes down the drain as long as they're together as long as you know she has a hold over her children so that thing like makes you question the idea of you know being a mother is it only that perception of love or what what is it exactly and for sure like there is the right answer to it obviously like definitely the relationship is nothing but toxic but the film puts into perspective that these kinds of relationships exist and that in the perspective of these people this is what motherhood is about this is what the relationship of a child and a parent should be like and again like it really makes your mind real because from the beginning until the end of the film that is what it's being pressed on and it's just so heartbreaking and heart aching um and um i think the way that the narrative is very linear as well it really helped convey that message of how long this relationship has been going and until the end like when um when Takahashi Aya tells um, tells um, Akiko that you know Shuhei told him that he told me that after all this time he still loves you even if like whatever it is that happened he still loves you and then it ends with Akiko giving that small smile of satisfaction just hearing that and then it ends into a title card of just mother I think that scene was particularly brilliant because it shows that you know. They are seeking validation from one another, no matter what the circumstances are or how it turned out. Like that's that, like that's the relationship, and it's so painful to watch. And that's what made this film work in a way. Like it really would make you think about that kind of thing. Now, moving on to the technicalities. So, I guess what really made it work is that number one, Nagasawa Masami brilliant actress the way that i never imagined myself to hate her in any role that she would take on but this role absolutely made me hate her to her gut like that's how effective she was like every single scene that she's in and like the way that she delivers her lines or that the subtleties in her acting that makes you think that you know she's gonna get into trouble again or she's she's gonna do something again to to make this narrative worse than it already is that her in this role is absolutely brilliant um and then with the two child actors so i looked them up both um both the younger kid and then the one who played the teenager so sho and daikin um, and I initially thought that they had acting roles prior to this one because this is quite heavy for your first project. And then apparently it was their first project. It would serve such good trajectory if they ever feel like pursuing acting even more because they did a brilliant job for this one. Like for example, for the younger Shuhei, there's really a sense of like innocence um, and sort of like being desensitized of the situation even at a young age like he, the kid who played that role really sort of like captures that like you can't help but feel sorry for him but at the same time like there's there's something that's behind the eyes already that that really delivers some sort of like experience like the ex the the thing that um he was portraying is really real to him so definitely that made like the first part of the film really work and then when we transition to the teenager Shuhei like again you get that very similar sense of being tired of the situation and just wanting out but at the same time like still not being able to because of how much you care for the relationship that you have with the people that you're with and then in the end especially like the delivery of the lines in the end when um when Aya was confronting him about you know why did you take all the blame of the situation and then he he like the way that he pauses in between the lines and everything like that like i feel like and even how the camera moved chaotically during that particular scene like it really exuded a lot of like the emotions that has to go into you know that really went into what you should feel like during that film because again like it goes into the idea of you know if your parent puts you through that much 
that much um there is a sense of like being being frustrated about the situation or angry about the situation but here we conclude that the relationship bet between these two reached that level of it's more of like Shuhei only has his mother and Akiko only has Shuhei and that's why they have that relationship like everything even if everything is shit um what what makes it work for them no matter how crazy the the circumstances are the means are the end point is always like them being mother and child and that's that and so that's why i think this film is particularly brilliant because again like if you want a feel, feel good film or you expect that the ending would be anything but happy for any of these characters i'm already telling you this is not the type of film um but if you're looking for something that you know that that would make you think or just make you feel or anything like that at all um and something that's very straightforward um this film is really something and it's as good like it made me think that maybe my student hated me for recommending this to me because i was just my head was just pounding i feel so frustrated with whatever this is happening on screen my heart was just breaking for what's happening in the narrative so i feel like does my student want to punish me that's why she recommended this to me <laughs> but overall it was it's a really good film um and it's not something that you should watch if if you want something to make you feel better so you have to be ready for it but it is a brilliant film and if you're a fan of like j movies in general it's one of the films that i would definitely recommend um should you go on netflix and like give it a go so yeah so with that said tell me down in comments below have you seen this film um what are your thoughts on it or are you planning to see this film whatever so you know the drill comments yeah now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me please hit subscribe thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you again soon in a new one